guys. I'm teacher Im. I prepare video to help my students score better in their STPMST paper. I hope all my videos can help you too. Well, today in this video, we will talk about the second derivative of parametric functions. Second derivative are written as d squared y over dx squared, or sometimes as f double prime x. To do the second derivative of parametric equation, we will need this formula, where we are going to differentiate the answer for dy dx again and divide the answer with dx dt. Before I continue with this question, I would suggest you to have a look in my video for derivative of parametric equation if you have not seen it before. I will leave the, a link below. Now, to do dy dx and for parametric equation, you will need to differentiate all the parameter and equation given. So, if I have y equals to 4t squared plus 3t, where t is the parameter, I need to have dy dt. So, I will differentiate every element in y. Then, I will continue by differentiating dx dt, where I also will need to differentiate every element in x. After I've got this, I'm going to put them inside my chain rule. So I will need dy dt multiplied by dt dx. So I'm going to copy dy dt down and dt dx means I need to make 1 over negative 3 here. It's time to simplify this, so I'm going to put them together and simplify, or you can straight away simplify it, you do not need to combine them first. Okay, so once that is done, I need the formula for the second derivative where I'm going to differentiate dy dx. So you can write it in, or you can straight away differentiate dy dx to dt and write the answer down. So since I'm teaching you how to do it, so I write the full working. So I'm going to put it into the formula and I'm going to differentiate uh, 8t over negative 3 minus 1 and get to the answer. So differentiating this, I will get 8 over negative 3 and simplifying this, I will get 8 over 9. That's my answer. Let's have a look at this question. In this question, we will be talking about composite function, where we have composite function in the equation y. If you have not seen my e composite function form, uh, video, please have a look at the link below. Now, what I'm going to do now is the composite function, where I'm going to bring the index to the front, Copy whatever is in the bracket, index minus 1, differentiate all the elements in the bracket, where I'm going to get 3, and simplify it. Next, I'm going to do is x equals to t cubed, where I'm going to get dx dt as 3t squared. Once that is done, I'm going to continue by applying both of the answer inside my chain rule. So dy dt and dt dx. Once that is done, I need to simplify this before I put them into the second derivative formula for parametric equation. So that is it. For this second formula, you notice that this part here, you have one of the function divided by the other. So you have uv there. So I will need my quotient rule to help me solve the top portion, means differentiating dy dx. 
So I'm going to do slowly. Copy V. So that will be T squared. So I will copy it down. Differentiate du dx, which is the top portion. So 2 times 3, I get 6. Copy the bracket and then index 2 minus 1. So I will get 1. Differentiate all the data inside the bracket. So I have 1 plus 3t. So I have 3. Then I have a minus here. So I just copy it down. Then I will copy my u. So my u is 3, 1 plus 3t squared. So I will copy all of them down. And then I'm going to differentiate dv dx, which is t squared. So I differentiate that, I get 2t. Followed by v squared. So I will copy t squared and then squared, v squared. Okay? The one over here, I will write down at this side. So it comes with the same meaning. Now it's time to simplify, so I'm going to expand or I'm going to factorize out what I can see which is similar. So you have 2t brought out and 1 plus t squared because I have uh, 1 here and another 2, 1 plus 3t power of 2 over here. So I'm going to factorize that out and the rest will be put inside this bracket. Okay. So t power of 2 squared, I will, and then over here, I got t power of 2. So I will end up with 3t power of 6 over here. Once that is done, I need to make sure my answer in, is in the most simplest form. So I will get into this and then that's the answer. Okay, looks easy, right? If you find that my videos are good, please consider subscribing. Press the bell button and you will be notified whenever I have a new video up. In this third question, Y is B tangent theta and X is A secant theta. When I differentiate dy dt, for this case, is the parameter is theta. So when I differentiate dy d theta, I am going to need this formula. Okay, so I'm going to have dy d theta equals to b secant squared theta. For a second part, x equals to a secant theta. I will need this formula where when I differentiate secant x, I will get secant tangent. If you have not seen my differentiation of trigonometric function video, I will also leave the link below. Please check them out. So the x d theta will give me a secant theta differentiated getting secant x tangent x, so for this case, is secant theta tangent theta. It's time to put them inside the chain rule. So I have my dy dt, for this case, dy d theta, and of course, dt dx, which is d theta dx. So it's 1 over the one that I differentiated just now. It's time to simplify again. So I will simplify secant squared theta and secant theta. So what is left is secant theta and tangent theta. Secant theta can be written as 1 over cos theta. Tangent theta is actually sine theta over cos theta. So my equation is going to end up with this. So secant theta, I change with 1 over cos theta. Tangent theta is sine theta over cos theta, but because it's at the denominator, it will become cos theta over sine theta. Cos theta and cos theta can be cleared away. So what is left is 1 over sine theta. So according to this formula, 1 over sine theta can be written as cosecant theta. 
So my dy dx is going to be b over a cosecant theta. If you notice, I will try to simplify my dy dx into the simplest form so that when I put them into the second derivative formula, I have less element to differentiate. So now, when I want to differentiate d over d theta for dy dx, which is b over a cosecant theta, I just need to differentiate the cosecant theta using this formula, which will transform cosecant x or cosecant theta for our case into negative cosecant theta cotangent theta. So we can just copy it down and then divide by a secant theta tangent theta. Now it's time to simplify again. So I will check each and every trigonometry that I have. So one by one, I will try to break them up. So cosecant theta is 1 over sine. Cotangent theta is 1 over tangent. I will break that first. Alright, once that is done, then I have to consider 1 over secant theta and tangent theta. So secant theta is actually 1 over cos. So if I write 1 over cos at the denominator, the 1 over cos can be write, written at the place of numerator. So like this. And then this tangent and this tangent, I can multiply them together. So I will get 1 over tangent squared theta. Next, I'm going to talk about tangent theta equals to sine theta over cos theta. But here I have cos theta over sine theta. So it's actually 1 over tangent. So I'm going to write, since I have 1 over tangent again, so I can multiply them together with 1 over tangent squared theta for me to get 1 over tangent cubed theta. Of course, all the negative b over a, I will copy in front. Okay, once that is done, of course, cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. So the place here, I'm going to change to cotangent cubed theta. So that's my answer. In this question number 4, x is given as a cos cubed theta and y is given as a sine cubed theta. To differentiate cos x, we will get negative sine x but you have cos cubed x here. So I'm going to treat that like composite function. So 3 to the front, copy cos theta. So I have cos and then index minus 1. So 3 minus 1, I got power of 2 here. So cos squared theta. Differentiate cos theta, I get sine theta. Next is dy d theta where I'm going to differentiate sine using this formula. So differentiating sine, I will got cos x. So dy d theta is differentiating this. 3 will come to the front. Index minus 1. So I have power of 2 here. Copy the whole thing. So sine squared theta. Differentiating sine, I get cos. So I have cos theta here. Now, please be careful. In this question, the x d theta is given first. So, when we put into the uh, chain rule, please take note that dy d theta is this one. So, I will copy dy d theta and dt d theta. So, d theta dx. So, which means this one will be at the bottom here. Okay, it's time to simplify again. So this one will be sine squared theta and sine theta can be simplified. And so is cos theta and cos squared theta. So I'm going to simplify that and that will give me negative sine theta. And as you know, tangent theta is equals to sine theta cos theta. So which means in the simplest form, this should be negative tangent theta.
Next, we are going to put them into the d squared y over dx squared formula. So it will end up like this. So differentiating tangent theta, I'm going to use this formula. So I will get negative secant squared theta and copy down the denominator. In my next step, I want to break them into pieces so that I can see what else I can simplify. But during exam, you can straight away do it from here. Okay, so what I'm going to change is 1 over cos squared theta into secant squared theta. And I'm going to change the 1 over sine theta into secant theta. So I will write them down like this. Now, what will happen next is I'm going to combine secant squared theta, both of them, and I will end up like 1 over 3a secant power of 4 theta and cosecant theta. I'm done. Easy. When it is shown on video. Please practice if you want a perfect answer. If you want to score in mathematics, practice makes Perfect. Please give me a like, press the bell button, share this video with your friend, and give me a comment below. In my next video, I will be talking about solving optimization problems. Stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.